Hey guys, it's Sam from Ryzen Lab again, and in this Ryzen UV quick tip, we're going to be taking a look at mixed scales. Let's hop on over. Okay, so here we are in Cinema 4D, and we've got a few uh, simple shapes here. I'm interested in this cuboid, so let's get this over to Ryzen UV. Okay, so what I'm going to do is optimize this and uh, pack it. As you can see, the shape is completely uniform in terms of texel density and that's because of our initial scale setting it's set to keep average so it makes sure everything is the same now you can see that these long sides have reached the limit of how big they can be and fit inside the tile and it's this length that actually dictates how big these can be now you'll notice that we've got a button in the middle of our uh, scale optimization range called mix and if we turn this on and then pack again you can see that not much has happened and that's because of the scenario that we've got here so let's close this let's turn mix off let's close this and make some changes to our cuboid so i'm going to go into scale mode and i'm actually going to make this long and thin so it's like this and we're going to export it again okay so if i optimize and pack this again you can see that again these side pieces can only be so large in the y direction because of the limitation of the tile and these inform these end pieces here so let's turn our checker on again and you can see that its texel density has been maintained relative to the largest pieces now if i turn on this mix button and pack again you can see that these end pieces have been enlarged to fill the empty space in the UV tile. Now this isn't probably a situation that you'll want because why would you want the caps of your object with a really high resolution compared to the sides? Well this object probably isn't the best case scenario for this mix function. So let's turn this off and close Rising UV again. And this time, I'm going to export all of these objects. So let's grab all of them. Export to Ryzen UV again. And let's just do a regular pack. So let's just uh, optimize these and pack. Now you can see that these are all uniform as well. So they've all got the same texel density. So let's turn on mix scale again and pack now you can see something a little bit different has happened here in this case this mix scale setting has kept the scale of these caps relative to the rest of the element that it belongs to in order to promote the rescaling and optimization of other elements in the scene to fill this uv space now if we look over here the difference isn't as extreme as it was before when we had these caps that were much higher resolution than the rest of the element now that we've got other elements in the scene we can see that the difference is a lot more subtle but uses all of the uv space so if i turn this mix off again and let's just go back to a normal pack if you keep an eye on these spheres when we turn on mix and pack again it's not as extreme as the uh, example that we gave before but it is utilizing all of the uv space so, if a uniform texel density isn't the end all and be all for you, and there's a little bit of leeway there, a little bit of give, um, you can utilize your UV space a little bit better by using this mix setting. I hope that was informative and helpful for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and click on the bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out some of the videos on screen now, and you can also visit us on our website, across social media, and our Discord server. Cheers, guys. Bye.